Inspiring the next generation on International Women's Day, the award-winning academic Dr Katrina O'Sullivan grew up in the Hillfields area of Coventry, but pregnant and homeless at 15, getting a degree was the last thing on her mind. Now a successful psychology professor, she's been telling her story to pupils at a special event at Coventry University today to encourage more girls to take up science, maths and engineering courses. Ben Sidwell reports. Homeless and having just given birth to her first son at the age of 15, life looked pretty bleak for Katrina O'Sullivan. Growing up in Coventry with parents who were both heroin addicts, university wasn't even a distant dream. There was never any talks of university. I didn't have career guidance. I didn't have someone, you know, telling me that I could be anything other than this. And when you live the way I lived, which is from day to day, just trying to survive, all you're thinking about is how can I get through this day? But Katrina did go to university, graduating with a first-class degree. And today she returned to her home city to help inspire pupils from six Coventry schools at a special event marking International Women's Day at Coventry University. She got so far considering her starting point and it's just to show that it doesn't matter where you're from or who you are, you can do what you put your mind to. It was really inspirational, like it made me think like if she can do that then I can do it as well. Today's event was also the official opening of a new building at the university, named after the pioneering female engineer Beatrice Schilling. So she was pioneering ahead of her time, very determined character. Um, she succeeded in a world that was very, very male dominated at the time. Um, and in her spare time she raced motorbikes, so she's quite an interesting person. Beatrice was at the forefront of female engineering. Her work during the Second World War saved many pilots' lives. She worked constantly. Even at home, she would have her front room where she'd be tinkering away, fixing an engine, working on a bike, working on the Norton or a car. You know, there was always something on the go, and she worked about 18 hours a day through the war. Things have progressed from Beatrice's time, but still careers in the STEM subjects, science, technology, engineering and maths, a male dominated. Of the engineering students using this new building, just 13% are female. As for Katrina, she's now an award-winning academic who leads the largest national funded project in the Republic of Ireland, which aims to ensure all working class girls have access to STEM education and employment. Ben Sidwell, BBC Midlands Today at Coventry University.